You can negotiate anything by Herb Cohen. The year was 2008. I just went fully into the business world three months earlier and I needed capital as much as I needed oxygen. But there seemed to be no money or resources anywhere in the world until I came across this book, You Can Negotiate Anything. About one decade after I read this book, I can tell you that any entrepreneur who hasn't read it hasn't read any book. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I'm exaggerating here. But before I share with you five major points from this book, let me remind you that the reason why we started this channel is to help you to read hundreds of the best business books under seven minutes. So you may consider subscribing to our channel. By the way, the above statement is one of the negotiation tactics. I'll explain later in this video. To start with, do you have an idea as per how often you are negotiating? Every day. <laughs> That's the answer. Every single day and many times each day. The first major point from this book is awareness. You must be aware that you are negotiating every time. You need a raise at work. You need your team to do something fast. You need your employees to work more. You need your wife to do something. What about your kids? You are negotiating all the time. And the very first lesson in this book is be aware that you are negotiating every day. So it happened that this guy came to me and asked me to employ him because he hated his former job and he was underpaid. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Well, if you think the best way to get favor from people is by revealing everything about yourself to earn their mercy, then think again. When the other party has important information about you, he already knows your weakness and he can imprison you with that information. If you wish to negotiate with anyone, the first thing to do is to get as much information about them as you can. What will happen if you have the information that one of your friends has $50,000 in his bank account that he may not need until next year? Then. It becomes easier to get him to support your business with $10,000. All you have to do is to promise him, James, I promise I'll pay you back in the next 10 months. If you don't have information about James, your negotiation may sound something like, I'll pay you back in the next 18 months. Because James actually needs his money the next 12 months, you are not likely to win him. The more information you have about the other party, the better you are at winning him. No wonder our military spend more money to gather intelligence than to buy weapons. Do militaries truly spend more money on intelligence than weapons? <laughs> I don't really know. Anyway, kindly share your opinion in the comment if you are a soldier. The second major point in this book is get as much information as possible about the person you want to negotiate with. Imagine you're having a business meeting with another entrepreneur. In this meeting, your company and his company will be signing a significant partnership deal. This other entrepreneur will be flying 9 hours to come and meet you for the meeting. How best can you have a great deal in a meeting like this? Well, something as simple as his return ticket can help you. Imagine you have access to his return ticket and discovers that he's scheduled to return three days after he arrives at your country. What if you try to show him how hospitable you are by taking him around your city and company? What if you can successfully waste his first two days and get the meeting to start just five hours before his scheduled return? I'm sorry, <laughs> that's one of the negotiation tactics Herb Cohen advises you not to use. But the lesson here is simple. Time matters. If I know your deadline, I can outsmart you. Do you wish to buy something? The worst time to go and buy that car is when you are in a hurry. The best time to go and buy that house is when you have all the time in the world and you are willing to waste it. Don't negotiate while in a hurry. I have a good friend and a business partner who also understands negotiation strategies. Each time we go out together to buy or negotiate for anything, his default view is negative. He simply tries to see why what we are trying to purchase is too costly, why it's a poor quality or how we can get it cheaper elsewhere. This is an international strategy to make the other party feel helpless. 
maybe you should try it out. When next you want to buy a car or a refrigerator, try and go with your wife or husband. Ask him or her to be in a negative mode while you are positive. Let your wife look for everything that's bad in that purchase while you try to look for a few things that are good. This way, the seller will be helpless and fear you might move away. This will force him to sell at your best price. Let me know in the comments if you'll try this strategy very soon. Don't love what you want to buy or you'll pay extra dollars to get it. Don't let your opponent know that you love what you're negotiating for. Some times ago, I needed a friend to finance my business. What is the best strategy to use in this situation? One of the negotiation strategies I used was to let my friend know that he's not the only person I'm discussing with. Did I just use the word discuss? <laughs> no, I wasn't discussing. I was negotiating. <laughs> but you don't tell the other party that you're negotiating with them, except you want them to be aware, which may hurt you because they might raise their weapons too. Now back to what I was sharing with you. I was able to get $10,000 from this particular friend because I let him know that I had options. What is the strategy here? When you talk with people as if they are the only option you have, they simply become a god. Have you ever experienced someone acting like a god before? I'd like to know your experience through the comment. Always let the other party know that you don't care that much. You can do this so easily by adjusting your words. Take for instance, we can tell you, please subscribe to our channel, but that may not work as well as you may subscribe to our channel. That's what I promised to show you at the beginning of this video. Okay, now that you know the reason why we don't beg you to subscribe, I actually wish to beg you, please subscribe and turn on the notification so that you won't miss other great books. If you love this summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Look at the screen now to click the next video we recommend for you. We love you.